So given question number five, we are given that uh, here Sipo is using sticks to build pentagon patterns. All right, so this is our condition. Uh, T1, T2, and T3 as the given pattern, pattern one, pattern two, and three. So as we can see, we have to study how is the presentation, how many sticks do we have in pattern one? 5.1, it was to copy the table and complete the table by writing down a pattern representing the number of sticks. So we're going to have to present. Like as we can see, pattern one, one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five. There are five sticks in pattern one, exactly what we are given, five. Pattern two, we count this one, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five. Then we've got six, seven, eight, nine of them, as you can see here. So the same thing, if we're going to count this one, one, two, this is three, this is four, this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, uh, then 13 of them. There are 13 sticks. So what is actually happening, guys? By just studying these, what is, what is actually happening here? What is happening from one to another? What actually was happening with Sipo there? If you check properly, we are saying these ones, there are five. These ones, they are nine. These ones, they are 13. From one to another, from the previous one to get the next one, we are simply adding a four. The difference, nine minus five, as we can see, that's a difference of four. 13 minus nine, that's again a difference of four. So it means from the previous one to get the next one, we must add from here to this one, we must add a four. From here to this one, we must add a four. So that is exactly from here to the next one, we must add a, a four to get what is corresponding to that corresponding pattern four. So we are simply going to add a four. That is 13 uh, plus four, which is going to give us what? 17. So this is our next one. Uh, for, 15, uh, for the fifth one, which is our T5. Remember, now we had 17, so we're going to add a 4 to this one. 17 uh, plus 4 again, just like that, which was going to give us what? 21. We are simply adding 4 from one to another, from one to another. Just like the previous question that we had, remember when we were adding two sticks from one to another, you have to study what is happening. The difference, is there a constant difference? There is a constant difference. So you, you are supposed to add that from one to another, we add a four. And they're even asking you that here, describe the pattern in your own words. This is exactly what was happening. To have the next term, how were you obtaining the next term? How were you obtaining the next one from this to get a nine? From a nine to get a 13? From a 13 to get a 17, what are you actually doing? You are adding four sticks to the previous pattern, just like that. So this is our condition. So add four sticks. There are four of them. All right. So we're going to add four sticks uh, to the previous pattern. That is our condition to the previous pattern. All right. We move on to another one, 5.3. Write down the general term of the given sequence in the form TN. So remember, guys, I talked about this. Whenever there is a constant difference, like what we are seeing between these two terms, there's a difference of four, there's a difference of four, the one that you have been adding, there is a constant difference there. So whenever... There is a constant difference. Our Tn is equal to what? The constant difference times n plus what must be added to give us the term in position. Just like that. 
The, we have this one. The constant difference is already there. This one, we already have it. So it is, it is just taking it. What is our constant difference? Four. So we're going to put a four here. So what must be added? We do not know. So we are going to take any one, any one. First pattern, number of sticks, there are five. So we mean T1 is equal to five. Second pattern is nine. So it means T2 is equal to nine. So you can take any one and use it to find what must be added. So I'm going to use the first one. Guys, why, why are you worrying about it? all these? Why at least I have the first one, which is clear there. I'm just going to take that one. T1 is equal to what? To five. So if T1 is equal to five, what does it mean? It means N, our position, our N, which is our position, is what? Is one. So we are going to substitute five in place of Tn. Five is equal to four times one, our position, which is one, plus what must be added to give us the term in that position. Just like that. So five is equal to four times one, which is four, plus that part, which must be added. Uh, take this to the other side. So that's five minus four, which is one. So one is equal to what? That part, which must be added. So we have it, guys. We have found it. That part that was missing. So therefore, our Tn is equal to what? We go back here. 4n plus what must be added to give us the term in position, which is what? Which is one. Just like that, you're done. So that's our 5.3. Uh, so this one was going to give us uh, 4n plus what? 4n plus 1. So this is 4n plus 1. We are done. Then we move on to the other part. Without drawing the figures, determine the number of sticks needed to build the 20th figure. The 20th figure. Just like the previous question that we had, we talked about this from our TN. Because the TN, which is our general term, it was made or we calculate or we determined it from where? From the number of sticks. So it can give us also the number of sticks at any position. 20th, N is equal to 20. So what is T20? That is our question. So T20, we are given what? the position any there we are given to say any put a 20 there so that's four into 20 like this plus what plus one just like that so you are going to uh simplify all right sorry for that okay all right need this one so we're gonna have uh the t of 20 which is uh, four times this which is 80 plus one and that was going to be what 81 so it means we have 81 sticks on the 20th figure without drawing it. We can know the number of sticks. So these are your uh, basic questions on your, geome your, your geometric patterns. You just need to go through as much questions as you can. Uh, as we had, guys, we said we need uh, these revisions before we write our tests. So I just hope these revisions and the question paper, there's a question paper that I've done. Use that question paper uh, also to revise, just to, to see how questions can be given. They don't change these questions too much. They don't change these questions too much. So if you revise a lot of questions, you can get the idea of how the exam is all about, how your test is all about. Just do much revisions. So this is it, guys. Till we meet again.